What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create the top shelf of our bookcase. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to start on the left side of my model here, which is this side, the left side. So just to make sure, just check out your um, view cube here. So you see that's the left side. So this is the left side, so this is the front. So here's the right, this is the back, etc, etc. Okay, so what I want to do when I create the 3D model, I want to place the 3D model on the left side. So that's why I'm going to set my work plane on the left side. Okay, so let's start. So I'm going to open the uh, left view. And then after that, I'm going to select here the ex solid extrusion. Just click that one. And then after that, before you create the sketch, go to your work plane. And then we are going to set our work plane. If you remember last time during the first topic of this uh, bookshelf or I mean this bookcase family tutorial. So we have created several uh, work plane, right? And then we actually named it. So... On my left side here, on my left elevation, I want to set my work plane on the work plane, reference plane, uh, left. Okay, so that is where I want to create my 3D model. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to select here, okay. Right. Okay, and then after that, so let me now use the line tool here. I'm going to make sure the chain here is checked so I can continuously create the lines. So I'm going to pick from here here don't worry about the the length the size we are going to modify that later all right and select here there you go okay now the next thing that i'm gonna do is i select here modify i want to round this corner here so for me to be able to do that from the draw panel i can select here the fillet arc so i click that one and then you click the two sides that you want to round click there you go and then you can just pick first then after you pick you can now change here the dimension so you can click the radius so let's say i want three fourth of an inch and then enter there you go and then i'll select here modify okay now the next thing that i'm gonna do is um i want to align the sides of my uh sketch here so i want to align that to that side there okay so to do that i'm gonna use the align tool let's click that and then click this side and then you click that line there and then make sure you lock it click there you go and then same with this side here so i'm gonna select the reference plane there and then i'm gonna select this line here and then lock it there you go and then select modify Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a parameter here for the uh, length of this line here and then this line. So I'm going to use the parameter that we have created on our previous uh, video. But for us to be able to do that, so let's put first an align dimension. So let's click that, click a couple of lines and then pick here and then same with this um line here so let's select that let's click okay so just just to make sure i'm gonna select modify first and then using again the align dimension so i'm gonna hover my pointer and then press tab tab again until it selects the sketch line click and then let's click this line here and then let's put it there Okay, and then after that, select modify. And now let us uh, apply the parameter. So let's click this and then hold control to select also the other dimension. And then let's specify here the label. So I want to use the panel thickness parameter here, which has three quarter of an inch. So let's select that one. And there you go. And then I will select here. Uh, modify okay there you go now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I want to um, specify the distance okay I want to specify the distance from this reference plane from this line here so I'm gonna put here 
dimension, a line dimension. So let's click this reference plane and then this line here and then let's place it here and then select here modify. Now for me to be able to change this, I'm going to select this line here and then it will become temporary dimension. So let's click that to edit. So let's say I just want two inches. Put the inches symbol and then enter. There you go. Okay. And for this line here to this line. So let's say I want three inches. So I'm going to select this align dimension. So let's click. Let's click. Click. So it's already three inches, so no need for me to change it. Okay. Now for the panel thickness, I want to change that back to uh, three fourth of an inch. Three fourth inch, and then click outside. There you go. All right. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to finish now my sketch here. So finish, edit mode, and there you go. So there's now our uh, model. Now, the next thing that we are going to do here is we are going to change our view back to uh, reference level, to our top view. So to do that, let's go to the reference level. And then this is the uh, this is the 3D model that we created. So I'm gonna click that one, and then I'm going to align it to that side there. So let's click that, drag, and then put it there. And then make sure you lock it. And then this side here. So I'm gonna drag that to this side, and then I'm gonna drag that again to that side and lock it. Okay. And there you go. So let's check this out in the 3D view. So I'm going to open the 3D view and this is now how it looks like. So that's now our top shelf. Now for us to be able to check if our parameters or our 3D model here is working. Okay, so we're going to flex it just like what we did last time. So let's go to our family types. Let's change the type here, type name. So let's say 361236. Let's click that and then select apply. And as you can see, it's working. So let's change that to 60, 18, 60. Select apply. And it's working. And then let's use 72, 18, 48. Select apply. There you go. So it's all working properly. Okay. So basically, that's how we create the top shelf of our model. Okay. So on our uh, next video, so what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, side panels of our book uh, bookcase and then we are going to do also some subcategories uh, topic on our next video. So hopefully you learned something from this one. If you have any comments, questions or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.